<laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Welcome to our story time with UAB UREC. Uh, we've been doing it Wednesdays from 1145 to 1215. So glad for everybody who is able to join with us today. Today, we're going to be reading uh, The Rainbow Fish and The Little Engine That Could. So we'll get started. Starting with The Rainbow Fish. The Rainbow Fish was the most beautiful fish in the sea, but he never played with the other fish. I'm too beautiful, he thought. See, he has all the scales. Won't play with anybody else, though. Once a little blue fish asked for one of his shining scales, but the rainbow fish just laughed. Never, ha, 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 he said. After that, the other fish swam away from him. The rainbow fish was all alone. Poor rainbow fish. He went to the starfish for help, he said. Why doesn't anybody like me, he asked. Go ask the octopus, said the starfish. She is very wise. The octopus said, give away your shining scales. You won't be as beautiful, but you will have friends. I can't do that, cried the rainbow fish. Suddenly, the little blue fish was back. Please, he said, could I just have one scale? Well, the rainbow fish thought, Maybe just one tiny little scale. The little blue fish was so pleased. It made the rainbow fish feel happy. Soon, all of the fish came, and the rainbow fish gave away all of his scales, one by one. Finally, he had only one shining scale left. But now, as he swam off to play with his friends, he was the happiest fish in the sea. Ooh, rainbow fish. Uh, next, we got Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper. Chug, 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 puff, 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 ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her cars were filled with toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. It's a funny little clown. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with good things for boys and girls to eat and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all of these wonderful things to the little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. All those things on the train. Looks like a nice train. She puffed along merrily, and then all of a sudden she stopped. She simply could got go another inch. Her wheels would not turn. Uh-oh. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown who jumped out of the train. Please, shiny new engine, won't you pull over our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you? I'm a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. Uh oh, that's not a very nice train. And off he steamed and left them behind. Mm -hmm. Soon the little clown called out, Look, a great big strong engine is coming. Please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys. Won't you pull our train over the mountain? That is a very big engine. I wonder what he's going to say. I have just pulled a train with big heavy machines. I'm very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. Hmm. And the big engine pulled off. Mm -mm. Nobody's helping the toys. But the little clown said, Here comes a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. What's the matter, my friend? She asked kindly. Will you pull us over the mountain, cried the dolls and toys. 
wonder what the blue engine's gonna say. Our engine is broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. I'm not very big. I've never been over the mountain, but I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And the little blue engine hitched herself to the train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, slowly, slowly they started off. Puff, puff, chug, chug went the little blue engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Hooray! Hooray! cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say, as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. Woo. So thank you all for joining me today during my, my stories. Uh, check us out next week, same time, 1145, uh, with Jenny. Jenny's going to be reading Pout Pout Fish Goes to School and Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. And I guarantee you don't want to miss out on that. So thank you, everybody, for joining. Catch